What up, though, man? Listen, I'm sitting here um, cooking, and uh, I thought about one of my favorite followers, right? And um, she always be, I mean, I, I mean, listen, I never met this woman, uh, never seen her, don't know how old she is, how young she is, so can't nobody be like, oh, you doing, listen, I got a lot of respect for everybody, you know what I'm saying, but she been rolling with me for so long, boy. I got a lot of people on here that been rolling, man. I love, listen, man. Y'all don't know how much y'all keep me going. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep me going. There be people on here that been watching me for, since I started this shit. You know what I'm saying, damn near. And uh, that's what really keep me going, man. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, you know, motherfuckers get discouraged because the numbers ain't looking like they should. But, hey, I got people depending and I'm ready to hear what I got. You know what I'm saying? So, shit. But anyway, like, yada, 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 right? So, she told, I suppose the last week, I suppose, because sometimes she'd give me requests, like talk about this, this, and this, and I do it. It might take a while, but I do it. So I suppose that this week, I supposed to have went a week without talking about bullshit, like rappers, um, you know, all that beef shit, all that uh, snitching shit. So, you know, like I said, this channel was a a life channel. This channel is about life, my baby. Anything. Ain't nothing off limits. We talking about the good and the bad. Anything can be talked about on this channel. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I don't give a fuck. We can talk about goddamn bird watching on here if you want to. You know, if somebody want to talk about it, we can talk about it. So she said, look, Blue, talk about the brat, man, whatever her wife name is, right? Now, I didn't, um, I'm like, what the fuck is that? I was about to text her back, hit her back, like, what the fuck? Who, what is that? Then I thought about, like, dumbass, the rapper Brett and her wife. I forgot she got married, right? And my opinion of that is this, right? You know, the Brett, that's that's my age range. You know what I'm saying? I come up with the Brett. You know what I'm saying? Listening to her and this and this. But anybody could tell that she kind of went that way. You know, she was cute. And then I found out she was Lisa Ray's sister. But, you know, we all knew that the brat like the cat right it wasn't no secret the the cat's out the hat you know you know so shit so it wasn't no secret but this is where it got weird when you talk about marriage right and mar being married to a another woman I, I don't agree with that at all and you know if you look at Dolce and Gabbana right the two dudes that do the purses and all that shit they gay and they was like look man we get married people ask us why we not married and they be like nigga married for what you see what it's saying in the bible like we know we ain't we doing we ain't doing the right thing you know what i'm saying but so they left the marriage shit alone and i don't understand this that culture like the the, the alphabets you know what i'm saying i don't understand why they think like you're supposed to like change the bible for them listen do whatever you want to do Right. It's on you. Who cares? I showed them. I respect you. I don't give a fuck. Uh, if we become friends, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I have no problem with being friends with them or, 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 or being around them or none of that shit. It's just, but you don't, it's some shit you just should know you shouldn't do, right? Like get married under the eyes of God, right? I don't, I just don't, you know what I'm saying? I just don't agree with that. Um, that's my opinion, though. You know what I'm saying? So, that being said, right, they get married, number one. And then you bring a kid in this, right? Now, the, this the sad part. Now, you want kids, but you want a woman. You know what I'm saying? You want kids, but you want a woman who cannot produce a kid. So, we got to do all this crazy and weird shit to get a kid, right? And then now it becomes like, who, who the mom and who the daddy? Who the kids go with? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand how this shit go. Like, this my baby, this my baby. Like, two women gonna fight over a kid that was... It's, it's confusing. So you don't think it's confusing to a kid? You know what I'm saying? Like, man, look. But... It's, it got it. I mean, I don't know, man. I'm not in agreement with that shit. With the marriage and the kids thing. I believe that. I mean... Get married, but I just think if you want to get married or whatever, like for for legal purposes, but like under the eyes of God, I think marriage is for like to do the holy thing. You know what I'm saying? When I, you know, people get married because they infatuated why somebody look or I think I'm in love. 
when you get married, my dog, it got to be I'm doing this to do the right thing under the eyes of God. Like, this is who I think I want to be with. I want to stop all the bullshit. And I'm willing to go by these laws and not break them. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why people get married two, three, four fucking times over. I mean, God damn. What, why do you have to get married? Like, you could, what, why do I have to get married to you? We can be together, love each other, never cheat on each other, and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? The marriage shit is supposed to be under God. But anyway, yada, yada, yada. But so the kids having the problem I got with Brett with that shit, it was like that 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 just pushed it too far to actually get pregnant and carry a baby by somebody else and you married to a woman. And, and, and what's crazy about it, because this how Hollywood is and all this shit is weird. Right. So she a fuck around now and have a baby by with a woman by a nigga, but married to a woman and fuck around and go back. And fuck the nigga that she had the baby by and be with him. See, these motherfuckers be gay one day and straight the other. I done seen it too many times. Anytime you get a motherfucker that that had some dick before and was fucking niggas, she liable to go back to a nigga. So she just, a, to me, it's like some freaky shit. You just want to do, you know, I, I don't know. That's some weird shit to me, bro. You fucking niggas one day, then you gay and married to a woman the next. And then you want kids with a woman by another man. So if I'm confused about this shit, how do you think the kid going to be? But this is what I, I said. Somebody made a good point, right? Because they was talking about a kid growing up with two daddies or two mamas is confused and that's fucked up and all this and all that. And I remember somebody said, well, look, if a kid can have a good home and not a fucked up home, do you, you know, what would you rather have, a kid out here fucked up or with two people that's going to love them? And that's true. So in that aspect of the game, I thought differently about it. You know what I'm saying? I thought differently about it. Because that's true. I'd rather have a, a kid with a loving family, gay or not, because you know what it is what it is. But I've seen some fucked up shit on, on, on this motherfucker right here. I done seen two gay people that talk to their kids at three and four years old and the kid be, you know, how the fuck can a kid at three or four years old know his sex? So why are you putting on this kid a dress? But not only gay, have I seen gay people do it, it's some straight weird motherfuckers out here too that will, will literally cater to because these kids watching this shit and they smart so they listen to this shit then that's why i don't think that shit should be on tv because of these purposes there's no other purposes i think y'all you know if that's what you want to do y'all should have your own section where you got to go to that section and watch that shit i don't think that should be pushed out to the public like that because this is my opinion i don't think that is it's not it's it's not it's not it's not the right thing to do Right, but we do it. But who am I to tell a motherfucker the right thing to do, right? If I'd have shot several motherfuckers and did all type of shit, right? I'm just saying it, not me per se, but uh somebody that's out doing that type of shit and then they say, you know, you you know, you can go to hell because you gay. I, I don't know, I don't get into that part. But it just to me it's just um it's a little more on the mental. Thing, I think, right? So, but to push a kid, and this is how I go too far. <laughs> Cut it out, killer. Come on, man, sit down. So, to tell a kid, a, a three or four year old kid that they're gay and dress a, a boy in a dress, or, you know what I'm saying? Got him walking around in a dress, and he's identifying at three or four years old as a gay person. I think that's sick, and I think the people should be called. I done seen this shit too many motherfucking times. How can a kid that young know what the fuck is going to be? And that's why I was mad at Dwayne Wade about this shit. Because your son is fucking 12 years old, a baby, and you talking about having a sex change when he get old enough. Y'all couldn't wait to do it. How he know what the fuck he want to be when he ain't never been shit? He ain't never had pussy a day in his life, better yet his dick sucked by a man. I don't think, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck? Man, look, bro. 
if my son had them type of tendencies, right, and I seen this motherfucker was a little big chief domino, you know, a little sugary, I'd have been like, listen, <clears throat> no, sir. You know, I mean, I'm not, I'm going to love my kid no matter what. There's nothing against it. But I'm not going to, how do he know? Motherfucker grew up with this shit, right? And it could be a phase of some shit he see on TV. You don't know. So you don't cater to it. The more you cater to it, the more he do it. You see what I'm saying? You get where I'm going with that shit? I think, you know, because how, man, people change, kids change their minds all the fucking time. You know what I'm saying? A kid likes something one day and tomorrow they don't. You know what I'm saying? And so, to and then to push that on the kid, my nigga, and, 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 or expose kids to this type of shit, I, I just don't think it's right. And me saying it, it's like the thing with the with the brat, right? It's, it, it's like, uh, people change their mind, right? And I, and, and and being the Brett history, being with men and this and this and that. I mean, anything. Can, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. We having a discussion, right? So I know. I don't know. Something I was about to say when I was talking about the little girl, though. The little boy. I seen this gay couple. They had a little black-ass baby, right? Motherfucker was charcoal black with a yellow goddamn dress on. And he couldn't have been no more than four. No fucking hair. Like, you know what I'm saying? With some bow stuck to his motherfucker. I said, man, this motherfucker look like curious, man. Yo, all you got to do is get, man, listen, bro. Listen, I'm a, you know, I'm a silly nigga. But if that motherfucker had a banjo, in, <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, man, it's fucked up that, you know, I don't agree with this shit. So that's my opinion on it. I think lead the kids out to shit. All these kids that need home, go adopt one. You know, how you going to have kids by, and then y'all fighting over it? I don't know. That's some weird shit to me. That's weird to me. But my opinion is my opinion. I don't care what they do. It ain't like I'm mad or upset or think some type of way. A person asked me my opinion of this, and this is my opinion. You know, like I say, two grown motherfuckers, you do what you want. But to push this type of activity on kids, I really have a problem with it. And I see it too much. Oh, my kids, there's some sick-minded motherfuckers out here with four-year-olds talking about they gay and they LGBTQ and they identify. How the fuck, man? The, the kids should be took from them. I seen a white woman with two black kids and they was in dresses. I've seen this shit with my own eyes, man. On TV, because if I would have seen this shit in public, oh, yeah, they would have been calling the police. Immediately call the police. Because this some fucked up shit. You're going to adopt the motherfucking kid, because the the kid was adopted, and call it gay and put it in the dress at four years old and tell the world, and and would argue that shit down to to, to the motherfucker. See, dog, listen, man, I know a lot of gay people, right? Not a lot, but I got people that I grew up with that was gay. I got a homeboy, a homegirl. Her brother was gay. My, my person I know, you know, a friend of mine, she had two gay kids, a boy and a girl, my neighbor. You know what I'm saying? And they cool as a motherfucker, right? But even they know where to draw the line. You know what I'm saying? See, most of this flamboyant ass, what's that nigga name who fuck with uh, Carissa, please? What's the most saucy Santana type of motherfucker? See, some people just be, that's that YouTube TV shit. You know what I'm saying? You barely see that shit on the street like that. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that, that, and it's a fake world. This YouTube world promote a lot of fake shit that ain't like that. This YouTube world is different. In the real world, most gay people just gay. They, they got their partners. They... They do what they want. If you transsexual, then you train you, you know, you you train. But all that over the top want attention type shit and oh, I gotta have this and that. People already know, like, I'm not something wrong with me. I'm not doing the right thing. But fuck it. This is this is how I think and this is what I want to do. So I'm doing it and I respect that. But when you these this TV shit, this YouTube shit and this new generation, it's like they push this shit on people. Like, when you look at AIDS commercials and all these commercials, you see two men and this and this and this. That's telling you something. 
Like every gay commercial, I mean, every AIDS commercials you see is gay people on it. A bunch of them. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the risk is higher for gay people, you know? So now I done got them talking to gays and lesbians, all because I'm talking about the Brett, right? <laughs> so to give you my opinion on the motherfucking Brett is this. I think it's weird. I think she really don't know what she want. I don't think she a full lesbian. A true lesbian is born that way. I don't think you can go get dick one day and be a lesbian the next. I think you just a freaky motherfucker. I think some people just be lost. I think it's all mental. So that's my opinion about the brat. I think she can go to a dick tomorrow because she wasn't born that way. I think she kind of, you know, you could tell she always was tomboyish and probably experiment with it and nigga probably treated her wrong. So she jumped the fence. Instead of straddling in the motherfucker, she said, fuck it, I'm going to go over here. But listen to what I'm telling you. Listen to what I'm telling you. And I bet Brad have a nigga next. Y'all put some money up. Put something up. We can do a friendly back. I can't. Listen, man, I ain't worked out in a while. Years, right? We can bet push-ups or whatever y'all want to do. Money. She going to some dick. On this one. Bet the house on it. 